want to dedicate this work and this video to Basquiat himself as an homage and a memorial to his life and the contribution that he made to the art world. Buonasera and welcome back to another video. Today's video is about one of my favourites, if not my favourite artist, that's Basquiat. Take some notes and yes, my iPad matches with my heart and points to you if you know who this artist is, if you know, comment below. I am so fascinated by his work, firstly, obviously, but also just his story and how he became, you know, a worldwide known artist at the age of 21. We're so used to see very successful young people nowadays on social media, on Instagram, on YouTube, but in the 80s it wasn't really the case especially for a young graffiti artist who started with no money and was literally painting on scraps of wood that he would find in the street, on doors, pieces of furniture, out of anything he could really get his hands on. Basquiat once said, I'm not a real person, I'm a legend, and he sure was. He literally went from living in the street to selling his artwork for thousands of dollars, traveling around the world, having his solo exhibitions to Italy, appearing on the cover of New York Times magazine, and he was 20, 21, 22. He was also a poet, he was a musician, he inspired generations for years, not only artistically, but also musically. He influenced artists like Beastie Boys, Jay-Z and Nas mentioned his name in their songs, he dated Madonna, he was best friend with Andy Warhol, but unfortunately, like many legends, he sadly left us really early when he was only 27 years old. But he left us with a massive collection of drawings and paintings to have as his memory. Only a few years ago, one of his paintings sold for $110 million, which set a new record, making his work some of the most valuable and expensive in the world. Even more valuable though was the fact that he transformed completely the way the art world interpreted African American art as a whole. He put a spotlight on African American culture and would comment on social issues and racism. I love body painting as a medium. I just love the combination of color, paint, skin, movement and the fact that it's temporary. It really makes me appreciate the time that I'm spending creating the artwork, the time I'm spending with the canvas. Um, in this case, is Elena. Thank you so much for being my beautiful model today. And, you know, painting can be quite a solitary activity. And, um, yeah, it's kind of fun to do it with someone. And here is my final work. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it and um, let me know in the comments if you like the video, who's your favourite artist and uh, what's your favourite medium, if you like painting, if you like body painting, whatever it is, let me know and yeah, I'll see you really soon.